Hey guys, Mr. B here, and uh, just taking you through another math video here on parallel lines. And we've talked about these things uh, a lot this uh, this unit. And one really important fact to recognize that is two parallel lines have the same slope. So let me just highlight it here for you. So two parallel lines have the same slope. So this these two lines are parallel, and sometimes you'll see little markings on them like this, just to let you know that they are parallel. And as soon as you hear or read this word, you're really thinking same slope. So in terms of what we need to know, um, you got to remember this guy from grade 10. Y is equal to mx plus b, slope intercept form, where m is the slope and b is the y intercept. Also sometimes useful to remember that the slope is equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So that's the that's the slope formula. So sometimes, uh, it depends on the question, you'll have to use either one of these. So we'll look at a couple of examples. So this one says, if line 12x minus 3y plus 7 is equal to 0, and y is equal to uh, brackets k plus 2 times x minus 7 are parallel, so parallel, you should be thinking, same slope, find the value of k. So if you look at this guy, even though it doesn't really look like it, it's in y is equal to mx plus b form. So your m for this line is actually k plus 2. So these are two different lines. This is just in different form from this one. So we have to put this in y equals mx plus b form. This one's already in y equals mx plus b form. And we know that they, because they're parallel, they have same slope, or the same slope. So let's change this guy to y equals mx plus b form. So 12x minus 3y plus 7 is equal to 0. So our goal is get y on one side, everything else on the other. So let's bring the 7. Well, actually, let's just bring the 3y across to the other side. That's probably the easiest thing to do. So 12x plus 7 is equal to 3y. So that was negative. Brought it across. becomes positive. Now we want to get rid of that 3 in front of the y. So we just divide everything by 3. And then we simplify. I'm going to rearrange it now. So we got y is equal to 12 divided by 3 is 4x plus 7 over 3. We'll just leave it like that. So now what you got to recognize is this is in slope intercept form. And this is in slope intercept form. Well, this guy. So what you got to recognize is that your slope is equal. Well, the slope of this line is k plus 2. That's just my cat in the background. Don't worry about it k plus 2, and the slope of this guy is 4, so we'll have k plus 2 is equal to 4, and then we can just solve for k, so k is equal to 4 minus 2, or k is equal to 2. And that's our answer, k is equal to 2. So the slope of this guy is equal to the slope of that guy, and that's what parallel means. Alright, see if I have another example here. So a line is parallel, spelt horribly, to uh, y is equal to 4x minus 3, and passes through the point 4, 3, find the equation of the line. So if a line that we're looking for is parallel to this guy, so it's parallel to 4x minus 3, so right, th right here, that's our slope, so the slope of our line is y equals 4x plus b. So we just sub it in where the slope would be in y-intercept form. Now we know a point on our line is 4, 3. So x, y. We can sub that into our y uh, equals mx plus b form and solve for b. So let's do that. So 4 is equal to 4 times 3 plus b. So 4 is equal to 12 plus b. Or b is equal to negative 8. And now that you have b is equal to negative 8, you have the equation of your line. y is equal to 4x minus 8. And that's your answer.
So you're good to go. So the most important thing you had to remember, and I've get, I've said this many times, parallel lines. You're thinking same slope. So you're looking slope formula. Y equals m x plus b. Uh, y two minus y one divided by x two minus x one. All right, guys. Hope this helps.